Hello, thanks for clicking on the video. This video is to help you learn how to use eLearn. eLearn will be important to you for all of your classes. Um, we use a system here at Chat State called eLearn that allows your professors and instructors to deliver information to you on your classes, email you about your classes, and place other important information about your classes right in eLearn. So I'm going to show you with a quick tutorial how to use this. So to get logged in, um, you want to you can start from our main web page. You go over here to the right and click My Chat State. It's the very first one. It's that important eLearn. And so you may have to log in. I'm already logged in. So you can find your classes a couple ways. You can scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see them down there. Or I just like to use this little grid right here. Um, and then you can see your classes listed. I'll go right here to uh, College Success for Business is the one we want to look at. And once you um, actually are logged in, you may want to consider bookmarking it. And you also want to use Chrome um, for eLearn. So here we are. It tells me the class that I'm in. Again, it tells us right here. This main page is often what we call the news page as well because you got news right here. So you'll have welcome messages. You'll have information about maybe the days and times that your class meets, the location. You'll have instructor information. Um, you'll have some course information as well. Um, sometimes uh, instructors and professors uh, put updates here and again in the news section so you want to keep a look at that. Um, also over here on the right you can see there's a calendar that tells you like what assignments are coming up. Um, you don't always want to rely just on the calendar. You want to make sure that you're listening to your teachers and also going through the content and then check in. I always like to check content. Uh, discussions if I'm in an online class because there's a lot of discussions. Uh, quizzes and the Dropbox are the main one. So let's just look here. Um, content is just what it is. You got a table of contents and it takes you through all the information. Uh, uh, here's where you can see your syllabus and course schedule. You always want to make sure to read those. Um, then the different modules. So um, it just gives you a layout of the class. All right, and then we talked about the calendar already and uh, discussions. This is going to be pretty important, uh, mostly for online classes, maybe some virtual, some on ground, but mostly your online. This is where you're going to have discussions with your classmates um, and be able to uh, talk with the teacher as well um, through discussions on different subjects. Your quizzes, um, sometimes their tests are also in quizzes. Um, you can see here they have the dates and time that they're due and you can just go through and take them it tells you how many attempts sometimes uh, you get more than one attempt on uh, quizzes and tests so make sure you give yourself enough time if you have two attempts to do it again and get a better grade if you want now I just clicked on Dropbox and in Dropbox you'll hear a lot about it you'll submit um, papers homework all kinds of different assignments um, get put in the Dropbox. So you can see here just an example of Module 1. you got a Dropbox. You've got the nothing has been submitted. You've got a date when it's due. And always give yourself a little extra time with those uh, dates and times. The time especially in case something were to happen with your computer. So you would go down here. You would click Add a File. And then it would populate. And then you would hit Submit and be able to turn your file in through the Dropbox. And also, here's where you can keep up with your grades. As they are submitted, um, you can see this class has attendance points. And then you also have uh, each um, assignment is listed in here. So you'd have an idea and you can keep up with your grades as they are being input. Now, this class list, this is super important right here. This is the best way to email your instructor. Generally, when you come here, it's on all and you would see the whole list of the class. Um, but if you wanted to email your instructor and you're unsure of the name, you could just click right here on instructor, and then you see that you have a name. So you can just click right on the name to be able to email. Make sure you put something in your subject that um, lets them, the instructor and professor know what it is you're asking about, and then you know type a clear message in the body. So that is how you would, uh, an easy way by using class list 
to email your um, instructor. Also, now if you went to students, you could click on students, and if they're online, you'll see a green dot like this. So perhaps if you're a late night studier or early morning studier and you have a question, you could see if anyone else has their green dot on. Now that doesn't mean they're necessarily looking at it. It just means that their e-learn is open. But you could email them and, and see if they had any answers or suggestions for you. So again, that's under class list, under activities here. You can click on that on yours. There's checklist, attendance, chat, email. Email is just another way to get to email. Again, chat class list is the easiest way to email them. Um, you can get to our website, glossary, frequently asked questions. So all of that information. Now up here, um, you have this little envelope. If there was an email waiting for me, there would be a little red or orange dot, depending on how you see the color. Um, this, these little blurbs would tell you that someone had talked on your discussion post. And then this alert, uh, this bell is like an alert. So when you have a new grade, grow, grade, whoops, a grade posted, or if someone wanted to give you some, the news, a new news item has been added, um, that would uh, have a little dot there and you would be able to see the different alerts. So. That is eLearn in a nutshell. I know you can do this. I'm really proud of you. Make sure again to email and communicate with your uh, instructors and professors through this class list and just check all of it all the time. Um, I know you can do it. Good luck. Bye-bye.